This is Mick from Mick's Backyard Hydroponics Aquaponics Farm. Hope you enjoy this video that you're going to watch. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe down the bottom with the little red tag. Please comment, suggest if you think I'm doing something wrong and need to correct it, please comment. And I hope you enjoy the video. Catch you later. Hi folks, welcome back to Mix Backyard Farm. And today I'm going to experiment in getting into aquaponics and learning what to do, how to do it, how to grow vegetables, how to look after fish, basically the whole lot. I'm starting from scratch because I know nothing. So my first attempt will be a fish tank with a little pot on top to grow some herbs inside in my lounge room. So what I've got is a sixteen inch long by eleven inch high by ten inches deep fish tank. So that will be my main fish tank for my fish. Pump I've got is a little little pump. It's only nine point five was that five point five watts, sorry. So five point five watts two forty. And that will be the little pump I'll be using. pot that I'll be using, so it's 18 inches long, it's the same length as the fish tank, it's got braces in the middle, two braces to hold it to stop it from bulging out, so that will be my grow bed, uh, pipe work will be a two inch piece of pipe, a half inch piece of pipe, half inch bit of pipe, and a three inch bit of pipe, which will make up my bell siphon for the fish tank. And fittings will be a 40 millimeter cap for my two inch bit of pipe. Half inch, uh, what do you call that? It's a half inch piece. And what else have we got here? A wiring grommet to go over my half inch bit of pipe. Um, if that doesn't work, what the wiring grommet will be will be for to go in there like that with the pipe through it to get the bell siphon to go through into the fish tank. If that doesn't work, then I've got these two half inch fittings here that I'll use to go on there. So that's those two bits. And that's it. That's all the bits I've got at the moment to build my aquaponic fish tank to grow some herbs inside with some goldfish. So my first step will be to drill a hole in this top pot. So what I'm going to do is Probably about there inside the pot to go down into the fish tank. So I'm going to drill a hole through there and put that in. So I'll do that and then I'll get back to you. Oh. 
Okay, folks, what I need to find is a bit that will do me hole to put in my wiring welsh plug. Now, what I've got here is just brought this off eBay. It was dirt cheap. I can't remember, but it was dirt cheap. So I just got to find the right size right size to go into my hole so, that's a bit too big that one that one's probably the size I need so, that's the size I'm after if I can see the size on there. No, that's the size I need for that. So that's good. So what else do I need? I need the little one of these. Small one of these. And put that together and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've got that connected to my drill. That is the right size. So that's good. What I need to work out now is where to put this. Thinking about the area in the middle. So I think that's where I'll do the hole. Mark that off. Text uh, up there. Okay. So I'll drill that and I'll get back to you. Okay, folks, I drilled the hole, but then found out if you can see this little lip here. There's like a hollow bit under here, so there's a gap in between that and the bottom. So I couldn't put the wiring grommet in there. So I've had to go with me second choice. Is this fitting? Which works, still works out pretty fine. Works out really good actually. So my next step is to do my drain pipe. Um, drain pipe will go into there like that and then I gotta work out I gotta work out the height of my drain pipe see how high I need it and cut that off so that's my next step Okay, I'll get back to you when I work that out, and I've cut it and sorted it. Okay, so I've cut my drain pipe. Let's see if I can get you a better view on that. There's me cut drain pipe. I may have to adjust it. It's just the rough estimate on the height of it. So that's half of my bell siphon done. My next piece for my bell siphon is going to be my two inch piece with a cap on it. So that will sit down in there like that. So that will be my next piece to work out and cut. So I'll do that and I'll get back to you. Okay, I've cut the second bit to my bell siphon, bit of pipe with a cap on the end. So that would be my second bit that'll go over there. Like that. Now, if anyone can see me that I'm doing anything wrong, Please uh, put something in the comments and let me know. Like I said, this is the first attempt at anything like aquaponics. 
So that's my first bit. Now my next bit is to cut a few drain bits in the bottom of this, of the bell, so the water will drain out. So that will be my next step. So I'll do that and get back to you. Okay folks, I've cut that bit. A little bit rough but I still haven't got all my tools after my move into the shed so it's just a bit of a, a bit of a problem but I'll fix that soon. So that bit's done. So I guess what I'm going to do now is put a bit of water in it and see if it siphons. So I'll set that up and I'll get back to you. Okay. So I've got it set up here. I'm just going to put a bit of water in it. So water going in. Let's see if I've really buggered this up or it works. Okay, so the water's getting up to just about overflowing. Water's overflowing. Bell siphon on. Take that out. Yes, look at that. I have succeeded in making a bell siphon. Well, there you go, folks. Part one's finished. How about that? But all I've got to do now is work out what I'm going to do with the top of this tank. Because I don't think I'm going to cut through glass. I don't think that's a good idea for me, so what I might do is get a piece of Perspex or a couple of bits of timber to go across the top here just to um, hold the tank. So I'll see what I've got lying around. If not, I'll have to go to the hardware and get a piece to go in there.